Mm -hmm. Those have peanut butter in them. They have peanut butter. No, no mine. Oh, don't you like the ones with peanut butter in? I don't like peanut butter. You don't like peanut butter? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Jeff doesn't like peanut butter! Holy heck! Well, I don't too. Oh my goodness! You like peanut butter. No, you don't. Ooh, what happened to him? Okay. Why oh. didn't he got wow. pebbles on him? I'm going to tell you, look at this. What happened? Today, we're going to talk about Job. Job was a good man, but we're going to talk about what happened to Job and how he still believed in God no matter what happened. He still praised God. And what happened to him right here? He's got sores all over him. They were called boils. They itched. Have you ever had a rash? No. A rash on you that it not like that, but the, have you ever had a rash on you that just itched so bad you couldn't stop itching? Yeah. Yeah, and that is I miserable. Did, I did um, a mosquito bite in me. Yeah. But, but, but the mosquito bite was right here and now it's gone. That's good, but did it itch? You wanted to scratch it. That time no, I did, I no, I did a scratch it. My mommy put, my mommy, what's that stuff you put on there? With like when you get, uh, when like you get poisoned. Oh yeah, poisonous she gave you something for poison ivy. Yeah. <coughs> my oh. mommy touches poison ivy when she was a little tiny kid. Oh my when God. When Noah got in that closet one time, I was beating her mouth when she went. <laughs> Jeez. What's this? Well, what are these kind of pictures of? Well, that we're talking about Job. And right here, Job, he was a wealthy man. So I'm going to tell you the story, and then we're going to see how these pictures match the story, okay? So today's memory verse, though, is, After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his riches and gave him twice as You're much as he left. had before. So Job's going to go through a rough time. Job was a good man. Mm -hmm. Job lived in the days of Abraham. He was wealthy, but was not boastful or selfish. So he had a lot of money, he had a lot of animals, he had a large family, but he didn't boast, he didn't brag about it. He worshiped God and obeyed all of his laws and God was pleased with Job. Wait, what's that, what's that's that just, wet stuff in that's there? That's just the flavoring stuff. One day Satan, do we know who Satan is? Saint Nick? No, <laughs> nope, Satan. Is another name for I know I, I know it. What? Satan. It's another name for the devil. Remember the serpent, the snake. Yeah. It's Remember snake. how the serpent, the devil, went into the snake and tempted Adam, Adam and Eve. <clears throat> so one day Satan said, "It's easy for Job to be good when things are going well. I bet if life got hard, he would change his tune." So he's saying to God, Satan's talking to God, he's saying, do you know that the only reason that Job is good is because you have given him a lot? And God agreed that Satan could test him. One day shortly after this, when Job's children were all feasting, they, that means they were eating, at his oldest son's house, a messenger came running up in a dreadful state to tell Job that all of his cattle had been stolen. Back then, your cattle was worth money, and it was all stolen, so that means he lost it all. He had hardly finished speaking when another servant came to tell no, him... don't put it back in. That's okay, it's hers. He had hardly finished speaking when another servant came to tell him that a ball of fire had fallen from the sky and burned up all of his sheep. Oh my gosh. But the worst was yet to come. For another servant came to tell Job that all of his children had been killed when a mighty wind from the desert had struck his son's house and it had collapsed, killing all inside. Thank you. So here, Job had just found out that all of his children were killed, that his Where's sheep Job? were burned up. This Job? would be Job in this book. So his sheep were all burned up and his cattle were stolen. So every, it looks a little different there. So everything was gone that he cared about, that he had. Job tore his hair and clothes. He actually shaved. In the one thing it says he shaved his head. See how his head right here, um, he right here he had hair. See that? But down here he doesn't. 
He shaved it and he tore his clothes. He was in agony. Why did he tore his clothes? He was just so sad. And he sank to the ground in sorrow. But he said, everything I have was given to me by God. What he has given, he can take away. I still praise his name. <laughs> Even though all these things happened to him, he was still praising God. Wait, what happened in this last one? In this one? Which one? That one. He's talking to God. He's talking to God. He's in agony. He's talking and to God. And what happened to this one? That one, his wife was so upset. She said, you need to curse God. <gasps> she was so upset. She didn't want Job to believe. She just wanted him to curse God and die, she said. And what did he do? No, well, let's just said. see. We're going to see. And, and what happened uh, to this kind of one? That's Satan. That's the devil. Oh. Is, yep. is that the one trying to defeat God? That's the one that's trying to say, uh, that wants Job to fail. He's trying to say to God, Satan's trying to say to God that Job is only being good because you have given him everything. He's only being good because he's rich. He's only being good because you've blessed him with many and children. Is that true? No, that was not true. That was not true. So come here. So let's go on. Now, guess what? Yara, the devil has a second test for Job. Satan went back to God. That's all very well, he said. But it would be a different story if Job himself had to suffer. God agreed that he could test him again. And the very next day, Job woke up covered in boils from head to toe. He's covered in boils. You remember you asked what those things were all over him? Yeah, boils. That he's boils. He's covered in those boils. They stung and they itched so much that all he could do was sit in a corner with a broken piece of pottery and use it to scrape his skin. That would be like a broken plate. You know how sharp that would be? Yeah. And using it to scrape your skin. See here, one of these pictures, he is scraping his skin. Do you see where Ooh. he is? Right here. This one beside Satan, I think he has a piece of pottery there and he's scraping his skin. Ooh. Oh, it's gross. It's so gross. Ah, that would be awful. When his wife asked why he wasn't cursing God, Job replied, If we take all the good things God sends, then we should take the bad things too. Job's friends came to see him. You must have done something very wrong for God to be punishing you like this, they said. Tell him you are sorry and ask for forgiveness. So his friends are What's coming. What's happening to this? Well, I don't know. His friends are saying, hey, Job. You must have done something really bad for this to be didn't. happening. He didn't. He knew he didn't. So God knew he didn't. God well, knew well, he didn't. So probably the third test, God was talking and like, no, nah, we're not going to do any more testing. Well, Job's passing this test too. He said they were trying to help, but they only made it worse. His friends were trying to help. They thought, well, he probably did do something wrong. But in reality, they just made uh, Job feel worse. Job knew he hadn't done anything wrong, but their words troubled him. At last, he broke out in frustration. Curse the day I was born. It would have been better to have died. Then I wouldn't have to suffer like this. Oh, God, what have I done to make you so angry with me? How can you do this to me? Do you know people who have sicknesses and are in bad health? Sometimes they have to wonder, why? Why does this happen to me? Why do I feel so bad? Lord, he help me. But then God talks to Job. Another of Job's friends said, I kept quiet up till now because I am younger, and I thought you would all be wiser than me. But wisdom clearly cl comes from God, not from old oh, age. Oh, I, I got some of those on him. Yep, yep. It says, Job, you have no well, right to criticize he? God. Who is he? That's just another picture. of Pretend Job, but it's, he's supposed to be in God's hands. But this, this man is telling him, you still shouldn't criticize God. Think of how great and powerful he is. You cannot begin to understand his ways. God is always just and merciful. Think of all the wonderful things he has done. Just then a dreadful storm began to rage. Lightning filled the sky and thunder filled their ears. Then out of the storm came the voice of God. Job, who are you to question me? Were you there when I made the world? Can you command the day to dawn or the rain to fall on the land? How can you dare to question my wisdom? 
But what if he questions what the... Let's see what happens. Then Job was ashamed. Oh, Lord, he said, I am foolish and ignorant. Please forgive me. Look, Job turned to God and asked for forgiveness. And guess what God was? What? He was pleased with Job. Mm -hmm. He healed him and blessed the last what part of his mean, life. Please? That means he was happy with him. He healed him and blessed the last part of his life, even more than the first. Job had many more children and lived happily for many more years. He was given, I think, twice the amount of cattle and sheep. He was given more children. He was happy the rest of his life. Even though Job went through a rough time, God was there with him the whole time. What? You're only to swat if you think you hear me. So I just... Yeah, watch out, watch out. Now don't hit real hard. If, if you tap me, that means I can't get that ball. Okay. Oh, he got me. That ball stays. Oh, you that one. Okay, okay. Since Job was so sad, he would have needed a box of Kleenexes. What you want to do is rip out the Kleenexes one by one and see who gets the most out. Go. One at a time, one at a time. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Come on now, one at a time, one at a time. Keep going, keep going, keep going. One at a time. One at a time, keep going, keep going. Go, come on kids, come on kids. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go yard, go yard, go, 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 go. How much longer do we have? I'll give you 30 more seconds. Look at all the stuff going on. Oh in my there. goodness. 17, 16, 15 seconds. Hurry up, kids. Hurry up. Hurry up. 15 seconds. Go, 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 go. Nine, eight. Got it. Okay, Jack got it. Yora, how much do you have left? Uh, a lot. A I lot. got it. Wait, oh, wait. I got it. I got I a think. lot. Okay, we'll let that out there for Pat to see. Oh, too long, oh, to remember me. Too long, oh, too long, oh, to remember me. Too long, oh, too long, oh, to remember me. Dear Lord, help us to be patient whenever things seem to be going wrong in our lives. Help us to remember that you are always with us. Thank you, Lord, that you are always there when we are sad. Help us to focus on you, not only in the good times, but also the sad times. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my. Now get away from me, kids. <laughs> now, can you please wake up? I have some chocolate. Just half of it.